you are an online business owner, an entrepreneur, a freelancer, a YouTuber, or you have foreign clients, you need a PayPal account. PayPal is the most reliable payment gateway. So as a YouTuber, once your channel gets monetized, YouTube is going to request you send them your PayPal details because YouTube pays via PayPal. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a working PayPal account in Nigeria. Now, at the moment, PayPal is restricted in Nigeria. There's, there's a limit to what you can do if you create a PayPal as a Nigerian. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a PayPal account that can pay and receive money right here in Nigeria. So let's dive in. If you want to create a PayPal account, the first thing you are most likely going to do is to go online and type paypal.com. So if you type paypal.com, this is what you are going to see as a Nigerian because the system automatically detects your IP address and it's going to bring you here. So this is the PayPal dashboard for Nigerians. And with this, there's so much limitation. The only thing you can do here if you're creating a PayPal account as a Nigerian is to make payments. So if you see, look at this, it says how PayPal works. You have pay online, then you have send payment and you have search for deals which means you cannot receive money, which is the most important thing we need the PayPal for. How do you create a PayPal account that pay money and receive money as a Nigerian? That's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. What's up, What's family? Up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Chamaka. And on this channel, we talk all things money and how to start and grow a successful YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a working PayPal account that can pay and receive money here in Nigeria and then other African countries. Now, this is how I created my own PayPal account and it's working for me and so many other people who use this too, right? So to create a PayPal account that can pay and receive money in Nigeria, you want to come here and claim this NG and put AE. So AE is United Arab Emirates. So if you look at this now that we have the AE, it says personal, you're going to have this. Say how PayPal works, pay online, send money, get paid. And we there was no option to get paid. But now that we have AE, you can see the personal, it contains all other features plus get paid. So you can actually get paid if you create account using this. Now, this is the business plan, which was not there in the Nigerian um, homepage. So let's start by exploring all the options here. So if you're going to read up these things to understand how this platform, the PayPal works, and then this option actually allows you to get paid. With this, you send your PayPal details to people and they use that to pay you and request payment. All you need to do is just go here, click on this, get started, and you simply request payment from your client. All right, let's move on to this. Now, if you're creating a PayPal account, I would advise you to use the business option. It has a lot of features that the personal does not. So let's go on and create an account. And by the way, I already have a PayPal account. This is a demo just to show you how you can create your own account. So we're going to go on here and click on sign up. And it's going to take us to a page where we are going to create the account. So there are two types of accounts you can create. The first one is personal account. And the second one is business account. Like I already mentioned, Business account has a lot of features that personal account does not have. So you would want to opt in for business account so you can enjoy all those features. So we're going to go on and click on as a business account. It says accept payment and send invoices to your customers. It's easier and more secure to sell to anyone, anywhere and anytime. For example, business account allows you to collect recurring payments like subscription. So people, people can pay you on a monthly basis. Once you send them the details, they pay you. This once we select business account, we click on continue. Now it's going to open for us to put our business details. So here it says sign up for a business account put your email address here i'm going to go on put my email address and like i said this is a demo account type in your email address and click on continue it's going to take us to the next page say enter password and like i always say use the password you can remember now your password has to contain at least one uppercase and lowercase for it to be accepted so you click on continue and it brings us to this place. It says, tell us about your business. So you're going to go on now and talk about what the business is all about. And I'm going to walk you through that step. So you're going to go on now and put in your business details and tell them the correct information because it's going to be verified. Like they say, we will confirm your information to help keep your account secure. 
So the first thing is your business contact, which is your Lego first name. Now, if you don't have a business name, it's okay. Use your personal name. So I'm going to go on and use my name. Put in your surname. The next one is Lego business name. If you have one, fine. If you don't have one, go on and put your own name. So you can go on here and put your name here. So I'm going to go on and put my name. So this is actually the name your customers are going to see when they want to pay you. All right. Now, the next one is your business phone number. Now, if you see here, it's UAE, but you can change it. So we're going to click on this and then we select the one. We select Nigeria here because it's going to be verified. So I'm going to scroll up here and look for Nigeria. So this is it. And then you're going to go on and put your, your mobile phone number. All right. I'm sorry, I'm going to cover this. It's personal. All right. The next one is your PO box. Go on and put in your business address. Put in your details. It says Emirates. You can use anything. You can put um, Emirates. You can put Abu Dhabi. You can even put your own city. But I'm going to go on and put Abu Dhabi. Down here it says primary currency. What currency would you want to be paid in? In is it US dollar, British pound, Canadian dollar, and all that? There are so many of them. So you scroll down here and choose whatever you see you want. And I'm going to leave this at USD. Finally, you're going to come here and tick this box that says I agree, and then you continue. So this is it, and then brings us to where we are going to describe our business. On this page says describe your business. This is actually where you're going to tell them what your business is all about. So if you click on this drop down menu, you see is it individual or so proprietorship? These other options here you're going to choose from. But here I'm going to just put um individual. Okay, then the next thing is the product or service keyword. So if you are a freelancer, you want to tell them if you are an online course creator, you sell digital products, just go on and mention what you do here. So I'm going to type in digital product, digital goods, media, books, movie and all that. So I'm going to select this one. Now the next option is website. And if you don't have a website, you can skip it because it's optional. You click on continue and then we move to the next stage. See? Tell us more about yourself. So you're going to, as usual, tell them the truth. Don't forge anything because these things are going to be verified later on before you are, your account is activated. Fill this. I'm going to go on here to supply the information. You choose the day and year you were born. Okay. Okay, just go on and supply the information. Next option is identity document. So you're going to go on here and select the one you have here. It could be national ID card. It could be your passport or your driver's license. And that's what they're going to use to verify that you are real. Go on to put in the digits, home address. You can use it, say, same as business address since we already supplied the information. Click on submit. We have a PayPal account that can pay and receive money here in Nigeria. All right, so this is it. it says PayPal balance is zero 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 dollars. Just created this now. Now we're going to go on and look at so many other things here. A few more steps left. For example, we need to you know confirm our email address to activate this, and the next one will be to link and confirm your debit or credit card. This is actually the option option that allows you to connect your bank account. So anytime you receive payment, you can either withdraw it in dollar or in naira. All right. So let's go on and look at other features here. So the first one is the home page, and then you have invoicing. Now, this is where it gets uh, better. Create and manage invoices. You can do all of your business transactions here on PayPal. All right. Now, make payments, send money, and pay out. Now, request payments, and you also do subscription. Feature allows you to collect recurring payments. Next thing you want to do is to activate the account. So let me show you how you are going to activate the account. Email has been sent to your Gmail account. All you need is just go and open my inbox and then we are going to activate it from there. So go to three emails from PayPal. The first one is confirm your email to use your account. You have set up your PayPal business account and all that. So this is the one we need to open for the activation. So if you scroll down here, it says um, next, confirm your email. Thanks for signing up for a business account with PayPal. To use your account, you will first need to confirm your email by clicking the link below. So I'm going to go on here and click on the link that says confirm email for this to be confirmed. Now, you will be requested to put your password again to confirm that you are the real owner of this account. So I'm going to go on now and put my password. 
and you click on confirm email so it's going to verify your email and here we have it congratulations so this is it now that this has been confirmed if you can if you look at this place the first option has gone the next thing will be to link and confirm your debit or credit card like i said this is the option that will allow you to connect your bank details here so you can be paid next your bank details one of the banks that works so well like 99 percent of the time is uba dollar account now you of course you can use other banks like first bank zenit bank cards and all that and the good thing is that you don't even have to have an account with uba to do this all you need is just go over there tell them you want and you will be issued uba dollar card now when you're activating this you will be required to have at least five dollars in your account because once you are activated paypal is going to deduct about two dollars from your account and then i think the other of uh, the remaining three dollars is from uba walk into any uba branch and then get the details on how to do it to activate this and have your dollar um, account activated now there are two ways you can do this you can activate it up to receive your money in dollars or you can opt in for the one that will pay you in naira this way anytime you get paid in dollars the money will be sent to your account and converted to naira with your atm you can withdraw your money however the the exchange rate is not friendly if you'd want to go for naira accounts and that's why a lot of people prefer the dollar card whenever you get your money you can always go for normal black market exchange rate choice is yours you choose to either go for the naira account or the dollar account whichever one you decide I hope you got value from this if you're getting value please give this video a thumbs up and also remember to subscribe if you've not share the video with your family and friends there's someone on your list who needs to see this to learn how to create a working paypal account in nigeria thanks for staying true and see you in my next video bye